Hello everyone. In this video, we will create this salary slip, automated salary slip using Excel. Okay, let's check it. Okay, this is the demo. Let's select the ID. For example, this ID, everything has changed with the ID. Let's again select this ID. So everything has changed automatically uh, in Excel. Okay, so we will create this salary slip right now. So before starting, if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. So let's I will move to a new sheet. In this sheet, uh, first of all, we will just turn on um, okay page brick. This one page layout. Okay, you can use this option. Okay, see down or you can move to the view and press this page layout. So after that, let's decrease the size of the first row and increase the size of the B column and also C column and D column. and also E column and decrease the size of F column so it looks like this now okay so now let's first of all we will leave these two uh, first row and we will come here to the second row and just uh, merge these four line okay B C D and E merge them come here to the home and merge and center them and here you can write your company name Kampa name whatever is that okay XYZ for example I wrote that okay let's increase the size of text and bold it also we can change the uh, font which font you want so you can select that one that looks like very well let's select this one so here down let's merge these um, cells are so and here we will light address Up company what is that okay just write the address of the company so here let's merge these uh, seals also merge them and here inside this we will write the um, salary or automated automated salary slip you can write just salary slip here okay now let's decrease the size of this and control B bold it. It looks like this. Leave this one row and come here down and down in just mark these two. Uh, uh, no, no, we should just write here employee ID. ID and come here write employee name. Come here down employee uh, just write employee designation and come here write the month after that select these two rows and just add a border to them all border so after adding the border just leave this one row and come here down merge these two columns also merge these two after merging them here we will write uh, um, the income here in this side we will write deduction deduction now here I will light the uh, income which came to the uh, employee so I wrote these basically DHHRA other earning and gross salary and also these things after writing these so now uh, let's write here uh, yeah we will add the border to this let's add all border so after adding all we will apply permola later okay so now just come here leave this one uh, row in just come here here we will like employee sai and here we will light manager manager sign okay let's make it control b and to the right side and also control b to the right side so after that in this cell we will add just a thick down border okay thick bottom border and also here thick bottom border yeah that has added so now let's come here to this salary slip let's add a background color to this this background and also thick bottom border and also add the background to these so after that now let's apply our formula so 
to apply the formula first of all we will just uh, just create a list here and to uh, bring all the ids from this database okay this is the database which i have created this is the data okay employee id name designation month basic salary and all the things i have written in this sheet in this database sheet okay so just come here here we will bring the um, list so for that come here to the data tab then come here to the data validation see data validation after that press here's list after let's just select your data here the ids okay come here to the database and select your ids after selecting ids press ok see all ids came here ok we have the ids so now to bring the name automatically for that let's write we will use vlookup function equal to vlookup so after vlookup we will select our id field ok this id field and we will change it to the absolute reference so for that we will press f4 just to add dollar sign before these c and six let's press comma so now we should uh, uh, select table array so for the table array we will select all our data so after selecting all our data we will change this to absolute also let's press f4 and also this to f4 so after changing them to absolute let's write comma so after that index column what we want to write in this this is the employee name so for the employee name we should um, specify the uh, column name this is the first column and the employee name is the second column so for that we will specify two okay this is index column so after that comma then true or false true for approximate match and false for exact match let's write zero exact match and close this and press enter uh, right now we don't have anything because let's select um, the an employee for example this okay see and the second id we have jamil see second id we have jamil so now we will copy this formula copy the formula and paste it here and just uh, change the column name here we have the third column okay see designer and again copy the formula this time we have fourth uh, um, column okay column index is fourth c august 24 the same we will apply all the formula for this we will add the column number uh, 5 for this 6 for this 7 for this 8 for this 9 for this 10 11 12 and 13 as we have written here okay first the uh, second third four fifth seven go on so i will do th this task for all these things so after applying all the formulas in these fields so now let's find first of all total deduction is equal to sum and we will find the sum of these let's close it and press enter and also the gross salary that is is equal to sum open the bracket and sum of all these close the bracket press enter and also net salary net salary is equal to this one gross salary minus total deduction press enter so this is our um, uh, net salary and this is our gross salary so now let's add a border to this select this area so let's add here to the home and we will add add thick outside border so after adding the border so now let's uh, hide the grid lines come here to the view and hide the grid lines so it looks like this now so let's change now the id so let's change the id see everything has changed automatically So, so this was all about automated salary slip i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching